there's a lot, there was a lot of release from players like uh, uh, Napoleon Mbolava and Chuta Wanigolo appearing on TikTok almost uh, every hour after the sevens win and really a big release, but a lot of fun by some of those players, uh, the team in general. Uh, definitely, there were some of the upsides uh, during quarantine that helped the team as well. Yeah, look, again, you know, coming coming off what they did, you know, it was a difficult situation. You know, you, you're always going to have problems. I mean, young men, young women alike, you know, to celebrate, and we all do, and I do it as well, you know, to celebrate a, an event like that, you know, and inevitably people will get concerned about consumption of alcohol and how behaviours happen. And I like to think that, you know, what was what was reflected in the way that those those players did what they did is that even the celebrations were respectful of where we were at in Fiji. Um, you know, they went back into quarantine lockdown again for four days, which is, which was necessary for the country. We just come back from Tokyo, but also, you know, now is a chance for these boys to relax for five minutes. I mean, I've been at them for four and a half years and I know how tough that can be. And, you know, they've been in this under the scrutiny, under the scrutiny of of quarantining as well. And it was really pleasing for me that that I could see them having a release, but it wasn't, you know, it wasn't disrespectful to to what was important in the country. And they, you know, Napoleone is 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 an exceptional character. Um, you know, he is one of those that just brings energy, joy, and life to whatever you're doing. Um, and and as a great person to be around, he's always telling stories. And and him and Juta together was great. I know some people might look at it and and touch at what they do, but you know what? I don't feel that they were harming anybody. I feel that they were in good spirits, um, and they were celebrating in their own heads what they just achieved as young men. One of the biggest challenges with Napoleon, is, which is another good story, was doing some work around. Because um, he's always on the go, you know, he's one of those characters, his personality, he needs to be doing the next thing. And he's telling a joke over here, then he's playing rugby. Then he's, he's like having one of the, for me, he's like having a naughty little schoolboy in the, in the class <laughs> with me. Um, and we, you know, coming up to the Olympics, we did a lot of work in relation to um, understanding your own breathing, um, calming, and people might call it well-being. But for me, it was more about the players finding a little bit of space to be able to slow down control the moments, control on field, off field. And, and he found it particularly difficult just sitting still for two minutes and just breathing and it, not ability to nudge somebody and have a joke and things. And you need all that in a team. I mean, I love rugby because we're not all the same. We're different. And you've got different personalities doing different things. Um, and, and you as a coach, then try and harness that and develop it and use it for the right reasons. And then when it's it's not effective for the group and getting the player to understand why that might be. Um, so seeing seeing him and telling his stories uh, and Tutor as his sidekick and, you know, then, you know, I get onto, onto Facebook, I message it with them and Zooms. Um, but underneath all that, they're at every lotu and every morning and every evening, the group come back together and we pay respects to the Lord for what he's provided us and where we sit. And, you know, that's that's been hugely important in in creating a, a, a level of awareness around ourselves as players and as coaches um, and, and the responsibility that, that we have. Um, I know that going back into villages, there'll be big celebrations. But my hope is that, you know, not just as a journey for, for us as players, and doing what we did for the country, but that that they've they've found ability to mature as per people, uh, understand the responsibility they now have to the country, uh, the model that they are now have as a as a way of living their life, and the 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 model that they can show you know younger people, young ch children, men and women in uh, boys and girls, I should say in Fiji, about you know just how to be. An international player and you know what I want to see is more and more of them come through in all sorts of sports in Fiji and yeah it was good to see them having some fun um, and you know I hope that, that that's a big part of what we did was having fun in good Fijian ways and even in those 
moments, probably up in St. John's Hostel, as I talked about, there was always a laugh not far away. And that's been one of the, the greatest bits about being in Fiji. We're always having a laugh about something. 